and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are practicing your journals well. In this chapter, which is the subdivisions of journal, meaning subsidiary books of journal, this is one more type of the subdivision, right? Already we have covered in our previous videos. If you haven't seen, watch the description link below and uh, please watch those videos. We have already covered purchase book, purchase return book, sales book and sales return book. Alright? Cash book we will do at length after we finish off the journal proper. So now we are talking about journal proper or general journal. General journal. Thank you, sir. Okay. In this we have various types of entries. Now you all know that all the previous other books you know have been designed specifically to record a certain type of transactions. Like the purchase book records only correct purchase of goods. Right. Very good. Now journal proper records all the residual entries which do not actually fit into the other books. Okay. So where the entries are not there, they will find a place here. Okay. Because that is why it is called also the general journal. Now we specific about it. So in this we have some categories of accounts. Before we go on to these, you know, opening and closing entries. All we have to know is, see, whenever transactions happen, we keep passing journal entries for each and every transaction. For incomes, expenses, assets, liabilities and capital. We have done this classification. So all these various types of accounts are with me. At the end of the year, and which year am I talking about? The accounting year. Accounts are prepared every day. But the objective is to find out profit or loss at the end of the year. Ek sal business ne kitna profit ya loss kama hai. So you have to find it out. And how do we find it out? Of course, my profits or losses depend on what? My incomes and expenses. Correct. So to find out profit, we know that we need to subtract all our expenses from all our incomes. Right? So income is more than expense, then we have a profit. And if it's otherwise, we will have a loss. So what do we do with all the accounts of incomes and expenditure? We transfer them to an account called trading and profit and loss account, which is prepared every year, end of the year. Close karne ke time. Hmm? So every accounting year will close when I transfer these accounts of incomes and expenses and put them in this one place which is the trading and profit and loss account. Now this as every account has, has a debit and a credit side. This is also a nominal account. I will put all incomes here and all expenses here. You all know that the expenses are all having debit balances. Yes, whenever there is an expense, we debit expense account. And whenever there is an income, we credit the income account. So here all credit, credit side will have all the incomes. And debit side will have all the expenses. Fine. Now this, if it is done, whichever side is more, we will be able to find out profit or loss. If incomes are more than expenses, this is more, then we will have the profit on this side. Otherwise, a loss of that is it. Right? So, my objective of making the income and as well as the trading and PL account is to find out profit or loss. For that, I have already transferred and closed my income and expenses, all the accounts. Right? What type of accounts am I left with? If incomes and expenditure accounts are all closed, the balances are closed by transferring to this account because we wanted to find out net profit or loss. What are the other three types of accounts that are left? Yes, assets, liabilities and of course capital, right? So all those three, what do I do with that? They do not affect my profit or loss calculation, correct? Only income and expenditure. So these assets, liabilities and capital will be there in the next year also, isn't it? Assets will not finish, like if I have furniture worth 1 lakh, will it get exhausted at the end of the year? No, that that's a fixed asset, so that will be useful in the next year also. Correct? So, ye assets, liabilities or capital the balance you carry forward to the next year also. Because next year also, they are my assets, they are my liabilities and that is my capital. Correct? I cannot close it every year. Fine? It doesn't finish. It carries forward. 
So for that, opening entry we need to pass at the end at the beginning of each year, right? Once at the end of each year, ending is on 31st March. Okay, all businesses wrap up their books of accounts, finish off and find out profit and loss at the end of 31st March every year. Therefore, the year starts on 1st April. Okay, so 1st April to 31st March is the accounting period, accounting year. So now, at the end, 31st March, end of the year, I have trans closed all my income and expenditure. And jo bacha hai, we need to carry forward to the next year on 1st April. Correct? And what am I left with? Assets, liabilities, and capital. So that, for that, to bring down from the next previous year to this current year, counting year, we need to pass one opening entry where we will debit all assets, credit all liabilities, and capital. Simple, and that is my opening entry. Here, so opening entry is an entry to bring forward all closing balances of assets and liabilities and capital of last year, meaning previous year, to the current accounting period. Fine, this is one single joint entry passed at the beginning of each year. Similarly, closing entries are to close all accounts of income and expenses. How? By transferring them to the trading or profit and loss account to ascertain profit or loss. Okay. So let us take a few examples so that it is more clear. Now here we take an example. Pass the opening entry for the following. You will be given certain information about the assets and liabilities and based on that you need to find the op uh, form, draft the opening entry. Okay. Assets, furniture, fixed asset, cash, current asset, dheeraj, dheeraj, a debtor, wonderful, a debtor is an you know, asset to me, so dheeraj must be a debtor, 5,000, kumar, again a debtor, bank account, my asset, my cash in bank, land, again my fixed asset, so all these are the list of assets that I have from the last year, these were there in the last year also, at the end of the year, these were the balances, so, obviously, if the bank had 50,000 in 31st March, ko, when I close the books, obviously, 1st April, ko bhi hai, when I bring down the balances in the next accounting period, okay? So, it's every year is a chapter, okay? One chapter over, draw the lines, over. Next chapter, start. So, there's a continuation, right? And these are the continuations to my chapters. Liabilities. Outstanding salary. Salary to expense of that. Outstanding salary kya hota? Outstanding man lakta hai. Due. Salary is due but not paid. Suppose March salaries. People have worked in March and when do you pay them the salary? On 1st of every month. So 1st April you will pay or maybe 1st week of April you will pay. So as on 31st March, March ka salary is due hoga na? Correct. That March period is of the last year. So that salary is of the last year which you haven't yet paid. So isn't it a liability? Meaning something that you had to pay you have not yet paid is a liability. So salary is an expense. But outstanding salary, meaning salary is due but not paid, is a liability. Get the difference there. Then Raj. Raj must be a creditor. That is why it's in the liability uh, list. Kushal. Creditor. Bank loan. A liability because I have to pay back the loan. I cannot see capital anywhere here because capital account will also be there. In some sums, you will not be given the capital account. But it's so easy to find it out because we know the accounting equation. Yes, assets minus liabilities is equal to capital. Correct? You have done this accounting equation when we were doing the Basic accounting terms. Long back, huh? <laughs> not even a month. Don't forget things. Okay, so assets and liabilities are given to us so we can find the difference and find capital. So, sure, let's put it in journal format. What all do we debit? All assets furniture, cash, dheeraj, kuma, bank, and land account. Sub assets, debit card. Obviously, debit you on that. And all liabilities I credit one by one. Outstanding salary, Raj's account, Kushal's account and bank loan. And then I find out the balancing figure. 
my debit side is more than the credit side. So what did I do? Before I put this amount, I noted up the asset side. Kitna aara tha? 6 lakh 65 thousand aara tha. Okay? And when I totaled up, the liability side it was coming to some 2 lakh something. Meaningless. So why is this shortfall? All debits must be equal to credits. Otherwise my journal is wrong. So therefore this balancing figure is 2 capital amount. And that's how I have got this. Assets minus liabilities give me capital. So 4,29,000 is not given in the sum. I have found it out by subtracting the liabilities from assets. Got it? This is that's an opening entry. So you should know what is an opening entry and how to pass the opening entry. Okay? Coming to closing entries. Check here. Now closing and expense of closing and income. These are the only two things that you have to close, right? Because all other balances are carried forward to the next year. But ye dono khatam ho jate because all expenses and incomes relate to one particular accounting period. Unka benefit, unka liability. Khatam, usi sam, ek sam. That is why they are expense and income and they are not assets and liabilities. Correct? So here, for closing and expense, all expenses are what? Debit. So if I have to finish off a debit balance, what do I have to do? Credit. Debit credit equal or jayega, to close or jayega. Right? So here, we have to credit all the expenses to close it. And transfer to the debit or trading or PL account. Now trading account may be ja sakta hai or profit and loss account may be ja sakta hai. But right now we are not going to the divisions. We will come to it later on when we do final accounts because this would depend on you know, expense direct income hai, direct expense hai or indirect expense hai. So right now we will not complicate it too much. You just need to know that all expenses will be credited to close and will be debited to the trading and profit and loss. Okay. Similarly for income, all incomes will have what balance? Credit balance. So if credit balance already is already debit it. So no balance left. So debit all incomes, discount received account, sales account, all our incomes. So all those have been debited to close and transfer to trading or profit and loss account. Fine. So these two entries would be given. So you might be just given pass the closing entry for an expense or an income. So you just need to know this. And where all will this find place? In the journal proper. Okay. There is one more set of entries which will be discussed which are called transfer entries. Alright. Let's do it. Now we have always done while doing journal that capital whenever the proprietor brings in capital we credit capital fine. But when he takes out the capital invested that amount invested we do not debit capital we debit drawings account. Why? They are related accounts, right? Capital shows the amount of uh, money the proprietor is bringing into the business and drawings will show how much he has taken out. In effect, kya ho raha? Jo capital gaya, nikal liya, to net balance kitna bacha? Capital minus drawings, that is the amount left. Yes or no? So these two are related accounts, meaning capital minus drawings will give me the balance amount of capital on any given date. Correct? So, these are related accounts. To find out at the end of the year, we will subtract one account from the other to find out balance kitna bacha hai. For example, a, a, a proprietor has brought in uh, say 5 lakhs into the business. Okay? So, at the beginning of the year, 1st April 2019 ko, the capital account will show 5 lakhs, that this is the amount of capital he has brought in. Then maybe he withdraws. So drawings he has made of 20,000. That I will debit to drawings account. So at the end of the year, meaning 31st March 2020, ko, how much is my capital? It is 5 lakh minus 20, it is 4 lakh 80,000. Correct? So how do I adjust this? This drawings account I will have to close because I am subtracting this from the capital. So capital remaining is 4 lakh 8. So this entry to adjust one account or transfer one account, close it 
and you know uh, either debit or credit to the other account, related account is called a transfer entry. Right? So related accounts are capital and joints. But one similar uh, related the jodi there is purchase and come on. Purchase and purchase return. Jabi bhi purchase karte bhi debit purchase. But jab return karte bhi do not credit purchase account. We credit purchase return. So agar saal bar mein we have purchase goods worth 2 lakhs and return goods worth uh, say 10,000. What is the net purchase for me? 2 lakhs minus 10,000. That is 1 lakh 90,000. And how do I get this? When I subtract from purchase, purchase return. Correct? So, purchase ka related entry, related account ho gaya, purchase return account. Sales? Yes. Sales return account. Correct? So, here when we have to pass journal entries, meaning transfer entries to close this account by transferring to this account. Close purchase return by subtracting it from purchase. Sales return subtracted from sales to find my net sales. Actually sales kitna. Goods worth 1 lakh sold. But goods worth 5,000 returned also. So net amount of sales is how much? Only 95,000. 1 lakh minus 5,000. Enough. So this is what is transfer entries. This is what the adjustment will uh, the transfer entries help us do. So this number one entry for closing drawings account and transferring to capital. Drawings is what? Debit always. We debit drawings whenever goods are withdrawn, money is withdrawn by the proprietor. So to close it we will credit. And capital account should be debited. We always credit capital account. Why are we debiting? Rule kya hai? Capital when it increases you credit. Capital when it decreases you will debit. So here what is happening to capital? It is decreasing, not increasing. Right? Therefore I debit capital account and I credit drawings account. Correct? Then purchase. Purchase account we it's an expense. All expenses are debited when they increase. Now basically if I subtract purchase return, my net purchase will be lesser amount. Net meaning lesser than the gross value of purchase. So purchase return account debit because purchase return is always credited. So to close it we debit and we credit purchases account. Okay adjustment? Yes. Similarly for sales. Sales is credit. Sales return is debit usually. Now reverse it. Sales should decrease. So sales account debit. Sales is my income. It is decreasing because we had sales return. So I debit it. And to close sales return, I credit sales return account. Right? So these are certain transfer entries. Okay? Related accounts are closed by transferring one account into the other. Easy? Absolutely. It's never difficult. Accounts is always easy. And keep enjoying doing more of journals. And this was journal proper, uh, part 1. We will have some more entries, more types of entries and interesting ones in the video part 2 on journal proper. So keep watching more, more watching out for more videos. Press the bell icon for notifications and please subscribe and like and share my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.